Welcome to my channel. My name is Benji Travis and that's right. We're going to be talking about barbecue chicken thighs. It's so easy. It's so delicious. You don't even need a proper smoker. We're going to be using a Weber grill. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before that, let's talk about the ingredients. So of course, this is a barbecue chicken thighs recipe. So we've got some beautiful bone in skin on really important chicken thighs. They've been just sitting out for about 30 to 60 minutes. Of course, we're going to be putting a dry rub on it. This is just a dry rub that I got at a restaurant event. It's already got some salt and pepper. If you don't have salt and pepper in your dry rub, go ahead and have that as well. And last but not least, of course, some barbecue sauce. So I'm using a hickory barbecue sauce. You can use whatever you like, whatever you get at the grocery store. And I'll be putting this on a little bit later in the process. In addition to that, let's talk about what I'm going to be cooking with. So first off, I prefer lump hardwood charcoal. You can use any charcoal, but I like this because it does burn hot and it burns longer. You can get some big pieces. Second to that is the wood chip. So I like to use an apple wood. This is cherry wood, of course, but I've been soaking the apple wood for about 24 hours. If you can soak it for one to two hours, that would be okay. The longer, the better. It's going to give you more smoke longer. You can again get this and the charcoal at any grocery store or online. Walmart also has it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about how to get the grill ready and start the process of cooking these chicken thighs. So as I mentioned, I'm using a Weber grill. You can use whatever you have um, that has a lid and has an opening to it. That's very important to control the temperature. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and light your charcoal up in your chimney starter. Uh, put the paper at the bottom, dump the charcoal in, light it up, let it get really flaming hot. Then what you're gonna do is take your actual grate off the grill, dump the charcoal in, and then scoot it off to the side. This is really important so they have indirect heat and where that charcoal is stacked to the side that's where you're going to have your wood chip sitting so that that smoking process starts. I like to have this little opening at the edge so I can replenish the charcoal and that's where I put the wood chips right onto the charcoal directly. All right, so I've got the charcoal going. The Weber grill is at a 300 degree temperature. You can have it up to 325 degrees. And again, use the opening at the top and the bottom to control that heat and always be watching your thermometer. So let's go ahead and prep the chicken. We're gonna go ahead and apply that dry rub all over the chicken thighs. We're gonna set it on there and start the cooking process. I like to place it in a half circle setup with the skin side up and the bones pointing towards the charcoal. Remember the charcoal should be off to the side and at this point you're going to go ahead and add your soaked wood chips directly on the charcoal. Now you're ready to barbecue. As you can see the wood chips are smoking right now. It's ready to start barbecuing our chicken thighs. I'm going to go ahead and put that grate over that. I'm going to go ahead and cover this right now. I'm going to make sure to make the opening about half open and I'm going to make sure it gets to about 325 degrees. I'll also set a timer for 15 minutes and I'll come back and show you what I do at that time. But it's really important that you make sure to check up on the temperature so that it doesn't go higher than 325 or lower than 300 degrees. All right, so the timer has gone off. It's been 15 minutes. Even though the temperature wasn't around 300 degrees, it did finally get up there, but it's important that you keep that lid on and you adjust everything once you get to that 15 minute timer. All right, so let's go ahead and take off the lid and check out our chicken thighs. Woo, look at that. So as you can see, there's some nice color on there. And I noticed that the wood chips have basically all burnt away. I'm gonna go ahead and replenish that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the chicken a half turn. I'm gonna put the ones that are farther away from the charcoal to the front and the ones in the front in the back, cover it, adjust the temperature again with that opening and set a timer for 15 minutes and we're good to go. So you're gonna repeat this process of letting it sit in the smoke for 15 minutes. And of course, on the third one, you're gonna flip it over skin side down. On the fourth time you do it, make sure to go ahead and apply some barbecue sauce on there. 
Very important before you return the cover for the last 15 minute session, check the internal temperature of the chicken. If it's anywhere from 155 degrees to 165 degrees, you're good to go. Now, even though this piece of chicken was just the right temperature, the bigger ones was a little bit undercooked. So this is why that last 15 minute session is very important. All right, we're just about done with the last 15 minute session. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid a little bit early because it was already really close to that final temperature of 165. So let's go ahead and check out these thighs. Woo, look at that. The color is perfect. As you can see, that last layer of sauce is starting to kind of uh, integrate with the chicken. Apply some more sauce flip the chicken, put more sauce there. I'm gonna spread out the coals and then I'm gonna slightly sear each side while saucing as I'm flipping just to get that caramelization on the chicken. Boom, barbecue chicken thighs, juicy, tender, and it's probably super delicious. It's been cooking for about a good hour with that smoke, hit that internal temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite, but if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Let's dig in. Oh yeah. Mm. Try this, try it. <laughs> 